Hello and welcome! My name is Bonnie and today I'm going to be unboxing the March 2021 Wizarding World Loot Crate. The theme for this month is Dumbledore's Army. Now that is a very promising theme and we have got a very large hefty box this month. So hopefully that means good things are within. Now we've got a proclamation sticker. Let me go ahead and read that to you. It says proclamation educational decree number 33. All student organizations are henceforth disbanded. Any student in non-compliance will be expelled. This is a very cool sticker. Unfortunately, I'm just gonna cut my way through it because I don't know what to do with stickers, even if I could peel it off all in one. So with that being said, let's cut it open. So the first thing we're gonna do is open up the box and see if there is an image. And it looks like we have, oh, some signatures from the DA sheet that everybody had to sign. That's pretty cool. All right, so I'm just gonna set this to my side and I'm going to pull out our first item. So the first thing I'm pulling out is a hat. It is absolutely a hat. Here we go. We have a black hat. It says, you have friends here. You are not alone. And it's got the Hogwarts H there on the front, but it has also got a little house detail on the back. It says Hufflepuff. And it's just got some yellow geometric shapes. I don't know if that's supposed to be anything in particular or if it's just supposed to be yellow. And then we have some color on the underside of the bill as well with the corresponding house. That's pretty cool. Um, it feels nice and sturdy and rigid. There's just one little issue that I have with this hat. Um, this is just a, it's a nice sentiment. You have friends here, you're not alone. That's a very nice sentiment. But to put it on a hat is a little weird to me. <laughs> I just feel like walking around with strangers seeing this is a little weird. I'm not trying to be anybody's therapist out in public, so um, as much as I think this is a nice hat, I just think that that was a strange design, but I really like this. I think that's very fun. It is very wide, but you know what? Maybe it makes my head look smaller though, so. <laughs> All right, I, I am just a little conflicted over this. I wanna like it, but that's just a strange quote to have on the front of a hat, in my personal opinion. The next item I've got is definitely our shirt, and it is a black shirt. Of course, I'll give you the first peek. And let's see. All right, we have got a lot going on. At the top, it says Dumbledore's Army. It says, we are only as strong as we are united. And we've got some spells up here. It says Reducto, Stupefy, Expecto Patronum, and with some wand details going through those. Looks like we have got the stag here in the middle. Um, I'm sure these are the room of requirement doors. And at the bottom we have a little DA. I thought it was an H at first. It looks like DH. I was like, what is DH? No, DA. Yeah, we've definitely got a lot going on in this picture. I kind of like it though. It, may, it kind of is a little discombobulated, but I also kind of like it. I like these colors together. I think that's why I like it. Um, so I think we're off to um, maybe a controversial shirt. I feel like some people would like this and some people might not. So I think I'm in the group that veers towards liking it. I think I'm kind of in the middle with this design, but overall, I think I'll wear it. All right, there is a great big box that I'm just gonna go ahead and go for. We've got a plain white mystery box. Let's see if I can get this open. Okay, I know what this is. We have got ourselves a game of cornhole or beanbag toss. That is so funny. There was actually um, one of these put into the standard loot crate, but it was We Bear Bears themed. I'll get that one out in a minute to show you, but let's look at this one first. We have got one of the Practice Death Eater dummies painted onto here, and it says Dumbledore's Army here. And of course, there's a little bit of licensing. Can't possibly make an official item without a little bit of licensing. And let's take a look at our bean bags. Here we have our little Ravenclaw bean bag, our Hufflepuff bean bag, our Slytherin bean bag, and our Gryffindor. I think these are really cute. And this is a nice wood game. It's got little feet that 
come out too so you can set it up at an angle. These are really cute. I think these are great, especially if you have children around in the house or that come to visit, because um, these are a hit with the kids, absolutely. And so let me grab the Wee Bear Bears one so that I can compare them together. So here is the Wee Bear Bears cornhole beanbag toss board and the new Harry Potter one I just got. They The only difference is of course the paint job and they've decided to change the placement of the hole. And then the Wee Bear Bears came with three bean bags. I can't find the third one, so I'll just show you two of the ones it came with. So we got an extra bean bag with the Harry Potter one, which I appreciate. I kind of like this one more just because of the forest in the background, but that's an entire different franchise. We're not gonna worry about that right now. I think this one's fun. I think the paint job could have been a little bit better on this Death Eater, but I think this is ultimately a very fun item. And now I've spent too long on this bean bag toss game. Let's go on for our next item. <laughs> The next item up is a box. Wow, okay, we've got a puzzle, a thousand piece puzzle. And this is the image that you would be building. This looks like the hardest puzzle ever. A thousand pieces of this? There's no clear image to work on. Oh my gosh, this would be so hard. I am a beginner to moderate puzzler. I stick around 500 to 750 pieces, but this looks so hard to do. Okay, um, this might be one I give to my dad because he is like, he is a puzzle machine, okay? He, he likes the puzzles, so I think I'm gonna give this to him because this would destroy me. This would take me months. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I would hate this. I would hate the entire process of making this puzzle. So while I appreciate them giving us a puzzle, I think that's a fun idea. This is not the image for me. Not at all. Okay, so not a great puzzle for me personally, but maybe other people will like it. So we have got a thousand piece puzzle. The next item that I have got says a proud member of Dumbledore's army. I'm not sure what this is, so let's open it up so I can find out. Oh, it's an awful notebook. Okay, well, <laughs> let me show you why in just a second, but first let's look at the cover. It, it's like a pleather material. It says a proud member of Dumbledore's army, and it has got the practice dummy in the middle with some people pointing their wands at it, and then just licensing on the back. But let me show you the pages. It's genuinely hard to open. You see these creases? It is really difficult just to open it up. Wow, okay. Also, it's just grid paper. Even if I were to use one of these cheap little notebooks, I would rather at least it be lined. I don't know what to do with grid paper. Like math? I'm not gonna do math in this. Um, so, <laughs> it's actually really bad quality. Wow, I mean, the out, outside looked so promising. I'm not gonna, I was so, I was like, ooh, what is this? Intrigue. And then it was paper. So not very pleased with this one. <laughs> Next. And then the last item is going to be our pin. So let's get this out. And I'm sure they're still in their magical places line of pins. So let's see. What have we got? Oh, this is the Hog's Head Tavern. Okay. These pins are always very, very glossy, very shiny. Um, I think the building itself looks really bland. The sign looks kind of cool though. We've actually got some good detailing going on with that Hog's Head sign. I almost wish the pin were just the Hog's Head sign and not the actual building. I think that would have been cooler. But we have got another building from Hogsmeade. Is it? So far, I think I only have Diagon Alley. So I think this is my first Hogsmeade building from this line. That's pretty cool. Um, so hopefully, maybe we'll get like a Honey Dukes soon. That would be very cool. I would like that. This one is just kind of a meh for me. If it were just the Hogshead sign, like the size of this pen, that would have been really cool. But this one isn't really winning me over. And then we come to the recap sheet and we have got 
Dumbledore's army. We're stronger together. Team up and join the fight against the dark arts with this wizarding world crate. This creates magical loot. It looks like we have got six items. We've got the Dumbledore's army t-shirt, the DA Death Eater cornhole game, the DA notebook, the Hogwarts house snapback hat, the Hogwarts puzzle, and the Hog's Head Tavern pin. So it looks like in the hat, those geometric shapes were actually supposed to be my house mascot. Um, I could not tell, but now seeing it along with the other hats, hopefully you can see it clearly. Um, now along with the other hats, I'm realizing, oh, it's a badger. Whoops, I was like, what are these shapes? <laughs> it's supposed to be a badger. But I think we have got a pretty average crate like i think that puzzle is one of their like bigger ticket items and i'm just not into that so maybe if i liked the puzzle it would have been more worth it for me but i just think that the design on the front of the hat wasn't to my taste the shirt is i'm still a little unsure about how i feel about the shirt i did not like the notebook i liked the cornhole beanbag toss game and I was just kind of like meh about the pen. So I think this was a very meh crate. Of course, all in my opinion, someone else could have liked everything that I disliked and that's perfectly fine because this is all up to personal taste. But yeah, I think this was kind of a meh month for me. And real quick before I go, I figured I would show you what the inside of the box looks like. We have got a couple more signatures down at the bottom and then silhouettes of the kids. And that is it. That is everything I have to show you today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me so that I know that you liked it. And if you would like to subscribe and you have not yet already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I hope to see you again soon. And until next time, goodbye and good luck.